Hello, Mad Nation. S keeps here for another exciting news. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, aka the Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden, NFL 13. Football kicking off the bang show 231, I believe. A little under the weather. Uh, currently writing the guides. Uh, Matt, well, actually, already wrote the NCA 13 guide and uh, writing the Madden 13 guide currently uh, at the wonderful EA. Uh, Sports Orlando. This is, uh, if I could open this, little view, little view of the Sheridan here in Orlando, Florida. Looks like it rained this morning. No, that's just shadows. Um, I am doing this video. I told my boys Lotto, I told uh, CR Burke, I told Wolf that I would do a video talking about the Raiders and just been busy. Not an excuse. That's why I'm I'm head down crushing it right now. Getting out there uh, right before I head into work now um, <coughs> to do uh, to do this video about the Raiders. Um, real quick before we get into things, uh, this year the the guide's going to be in a format that I think you guys will be will be liking. Um, it'll be a top top five style list uh, listing this year, more like a magazine style approach. Uh, where you're going to be able to hopefully consume that information, use that information rather than have to study it. So look out for that. That'll be hitting uh, stores. You can pre-order it, Amazon.com, all good things like that. Um, of course, of course, the creators of the five sets for success, five sets for success um, from MaddenTips.com. But let's talk about the Raiders in Madden NFL 13. Now, one of the biggest things <coughs> that I noticed about the Raiders this year is the fact that Chaz Schillens has left town. This is your stud. This is your guy. This is Mr. 6'4". I can go up and get anything with, what, 92 jump Chaz Schillens? This guy is a stud muffin, and it hurts the Raiders offensively to no longer have him. Not only is he gone... Uh, gone are the years of, you know, uh, dominating defensive secondary, dominate. Okay, so the camera died, <clears throat> and I'm starting over again, but uh, we're going to keep doing this because camera's going to die again. i uh, got to recharge it. I'm going to keep splicing things together, get all type of spikely angles, things like that. So, uh, let's talk about Chris Johnson. He has left, I, I believe, where did he go? Chris Johnson, where did he go? Um, did he go to the Chiefs, Chris Johnson? Cornerback Chris Johnson, where did he go? I, I can't remember where he went. Ex Raider, former Raider to visit Jets. He's not. I, I don't know where. I don't know where he went. I, I, I heard, yeah, maybe the Jets, but uh, I haven't heard where he signed. But uh, that's besides the point. So those two, two, two losses are huge. Um, they seem to be downgrading Madden wise year after year. I mean, they lost tight end Zach Miller to the Seahawks. Uh, Kevin Boss is a nice villain, but he's not Zach Miller. He doesn't have that catch in traffic. He doesn't have the reliable catch. Kevin Boss is good, but coming in around 72, 73 catch just doesn't really get it done for what you need. That the, what hurt the Raiders last year was their inability to hold on to the magic bean. They, they could not hold the rock. They couldn't hold on with catching traffic. And this was a part of the problems that you experienced with playing with the Raiders. Carson Palmer was a huge upgrade quarterback. Uh, and Terrell Pryor gave you a little bit of speed, a little bit of wrinkle uh, to have <clears throat> in, in, in the quarterback game. But overall, the Raiders last year, biggest weakness was catching traffic. This year, their biggest weakness is going to be lack, again, lack of catching traffic and the lack of just absolute high overall players. Uh, your secondary, you're talking about Demarcus Van Dyke and Anamdi, Anamdi, Anamdi Chekwa. <clears throat> they're coming in, they're going to be the two and three uh, cornerback. Oh, what do you know? It came down again. So Stanford route, we are talking about Stanford route. Absolute lockdown cornerback. But the problem is they're two and three guys. Uh, Van Dyke and Chekwa, do they get it done? Their, their top end speed is fabulous, but in times of Madden 12, you're completely let down by both of them. Um, they, they have the ability to get to the next level, and I think they can become, uh, you know, what uh, you saw a couple of years ago. You saw Nandi Asma, he was your one. Then you saw Stanford route Chris Johnson. Those They were in the low 70 areas, high speed, talented uh, back, and those current game, those games, that got it done for you. But now we're talking Madden 12, we're talking Madden 13, physics. You're talking that these lower rated guys 
won't be getting it done like you want them to. They're still going to be good. They're still going to be able to make plays that other guys can't based on their speed. Uh, but overall, my biggest concern is can that secondary rebound and do what it once did with Stanford out, who's not as good as Namdi Asamoah was, a little older as well, and then you have Chekwa and Van Dyke. Are they as good as Rout and Johnson? That's a, that's a serious question that I ask. They're deep secondary with Huff and Branch. No concerns there. They're absolute stud muffins. They, they're lights out in the secondary. So they're still going to be very strong in the secondary, just not what they used to be. Uh, now, receiving core is another kind of interesting scenario. So you kind of lost height when losing Chad Shields. Now you lost that big big target. You still have guys with adequate height. Lou Murphy, Darius Hayward Bay. I think Lou Murphy's still on the team. Uh, Darius Hayward Bay, 6'2". You got Jacob. So then uh, another another camera dies. So the speed at wide receiver is is the next uh, topic I was talking about. That's a big time strength. Uh, it's also a strength in the secondary. Just they don't have the top end guys. You have a ton of speed. Jacoby Ford, 98. Hayward Bay, 97. Daenerys Moore, 94. Uh, Darren, Darren McFadden, 95. Uh, they have Taiwan Jones, 95. They picked up someone else too. Um, Mike Goodson, 95 speed. So you have tons of speed offensively, and I think Darren McFadden is. Uh, Darren McFadden is going to be the, stop, the, the, the straw that stirs the drink. He's going to be the guy that keeps everything together. But my biggest concern about that aspect, the guy that's been the focal point for the Raiders over the past couple of seasons, is that physics changes the way you have to run the ball. It is, it is the biggest change I've seen in a Madden game, uh, in a, maybe ever. And, and that's how you run the ball in Madden NFL 13 is – you have to be precise. You can't just run into guys. If you run into a guy, you'll trip over him and fall. If you don't hit the hole right or you miss time the hole, you run into the back of your lineman, you might fall over, you might stumble, I mean, but you're not going forward. Same thing on the outside runs. You know how... All right, camera died again. That's what, fourth time? I got to do this quick before it dies again, but was talking about uh, the running game and how that's going to be affecting this year's game. And, and Darren McFadden, the biggest strength to the Raiders is going to be difficult for guys to master. You're going to get there, but it's going to be a learning curve. You're going to have to go up and down the learning curve to get to where you want to be. Um, I'm excited for this year's game. It's it's a pure game. It's a purest game. There's going to be a lot of excitement around uh, connected career modes as well as physics, and I'm excited. Um, that's show 231. That was from my boy Lotto, my boy Burke, and my boy Wolfman. Uh, show 231, guys. Uh, Madtips.com. We are the creators of the five sets for success. And as always, guys, we are changing the Madden community, and we are doing it one snap at a time.